we often create forks in the house when the kids were younger. You know, just try to, to run and get every blanket in the house and get some long poles. And they would get involved a little bit in fabricating it. You know, there's a little bit of engineering associated with doing that. I'm Mark Vermillier. I work in composites fabrication and design and analysis here at the GE Global Research Center. Uh, the secret to building a good fort is working with the right material. You know, you've got a big sheet that's going to sag in the middle. Well, if you try to stretch it so it doesn't sag, you've got to put some good load on it. So we bring my woodworking clamps up and hold it to the bunk bed. You know, you want them to be dark. You use a light-colored sheet, of course. It's not really a fort because you can sort of see all the light outside. You want it to be dark and mysterious inside. So we'd get the thicker materials and the, and the darker fabrics and build them around some kind of structure. You've got to find the right kind of furniture. And, and really, the idea is to get it to the point where you're there at the beginning while the fort's getting built but soon you kind of want to slowly disappear and leave a structure that's safe for them to play in. It's not going to collapse on them, um, but that they really enjoy and it's a lot of fun.